Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at the Mini Looter. So today's design is the CV Mini Looter. It is an unlocked level 25 size class 1 capital vessel coming to us from creator Mitch Powell. Despite the unlock level of 25, this is definitely a smaller capital vessel and much more suited to early game play. Or of course you can use it for just going around and doing some very light looting, which is kind of what it's named for. So coming towards the back of the ship, you see we have a hangar door with a ramp and two smaller ramps coming down kind of like fangs. This definitely gives it a more interesting look and as you come inside the hangar bay area, you're going to see is quite small. On each side, you'll see some shutter doors which conceal fuel tanks and of course these are visible from the side because of the tie-in with the nice cosmetic piping. In the very middle, you'll see we have our repair bay module. And coming up this ramp here, we have a nice little closet which honestly for cosmetic purposes works, but I would probably have replaced it with an armor locker just for better utility. Going to the other side, we have our repair control console, which when you walk up to, you will see the lights in the hangar bay turn on, highlighting your ship as you repair it. On the side with the closet, we also have a nice little table and bench set up, and we have another bench over here. Coming around the corner, we will enter into this enclosed glass area where you have nine grow plots, as well as a food processor and two fridges. Depending on the setup, you can use this to produce a single ration per harvest cycle or of course produce instead things like canned vegetables. Right outside this area on each side we have a doorway and a path connecting between them. These doors lead to the outer section of the ship and you have ramps that will extend to lead down to the surface area of the planet or moon you are on. So now the main area of the ship starts right here where we have a single advanced constructor and right across from it we have an ammo box as well as two doors concealing our toilet and shower. Because of them being side by side when both doors open you will have a weird setup in the middle because of the doors crisscrossing. Right here you see we have a harvest cargo box as well as a regular cargo box and an LCD screen. To the side here we have our O2 station and a medic station. Over here we have more cargo boxes and LCD screens as well as a repair station, an armor locker, another cargo box with an LCD screen, two of our medical scanners, a cargo box with no LCD screen, and two more medical scanners on the ceiling and wall right here. Taking the only elevator in the ship, we go up to the next level and we come out into the more cosmetic type area of the ship where it's more just for the appearance. Right here we have two ramps that lead up to the passenger seats and the pilot seat of the ship and it is where the top of the elevator connects. Going up the ramp here we come to an outside access area onto the top of the ship. Here in the middle section we have a decorative console set up as well as a small lab table and we do have some oxygen tanks over to the side. Right here you'll see some of the nice glowing pipes that feed power between the different sections of the ship or at least the way it's supposed to look like that. Over here you see we even have a crew area where in here we have two bunk beds as well as another closet. In between the glowing pipes here we do have our warp drive fuel tank and the doors on each side lead into the engine room area where we have more glowing pipes as well as our warp drive and a generator connected into where the pipes are. Be careful about spending too much time in this area because right here there are some thrusters and that can cause some radiation and heat problems. Once again, this is the Mini Looter and it is an unlocked level 25 size class 1 capital vessel. It only has 4 fuel tanks for a total capacity of 17,400 fuel which sitting still with thrusters turned off but even weapons turned on you still have over 42 hours of use. Just turning on the thrusters however and still sitting in place will drop your power availability down to 29 hours of use. The ship comes with 4 oxygen tanks for a total capacity of 8000O2 and only needs 640 to fill it up. It has 2 ventilators but I think it really could have possibly got away with just one because of where they are placed. 
There is of course just the one oxygen station, one medic station, and no clone chambers. For attack and defense, the ship comes with two retractable cannon turrets on the underside of it, and then there are two retractable minigun turrets and one retractable rocket turret on the top. And then you have four drill lasers in the very front section of the ship. There is a total of nine cargo boxes and one ammo box, along with the two fridges, one food processor, and one advanced constructor. Now when it comes to building this, because it is a smaller size class, the 2,670 iron is the largest amount of a single resource you will need. Because of some of the components in this build, it is an unlock level 25. And while the iron is not that expensive to get for this, what's really going to be difficult will be the 1,830 neodymium and the 617 arrestrum and zascosium. So overall, it has a really sleek look and it's very straightforward, it's very simplified, but the unlock level of 25 does give me kind of a problem with it. I think if you were going to actually try to use this in your gameplay, especially single player, you would want to change some elements out to drop that unlock level down lower. And that would allow this to become a much cheaper and easier to obtain starter capital vessel, allowing you just to get going with it and get moving out to other planets. Once again, this is the CV Mini Looter by creator Mitch Powell. And if you would like to check it out, I will have a link in the description below. If you try it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page to help Mitch Powell out. That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.